This island of Pompeii in the Federated States of Micronesia is the largest, highest, most populous, and most developed single island in the FSM. It houses the FSM's capital at Palikir, and according to the last census taken, around 34,000 people are currently living in Pompeii. Government work is currently the largest sector in the economy, and growing tourism to the island has been listed as the best hope for Pompeii to grow its economy. As with any tourism destination, there must be great attractions to bring people from Guam, Japan, China, or the US out to this tiny island in the Pacific. With the majesty of Soga's Rock, world-class surfing at Palikir Pass, excellent diving attractions around the lagoon, and the ancient city of Nanbadal, there is plenty to see. But to keep things interesting and attractive, attention must be paid to how the island of Pompeii deals with its solid waste. A quick drive around the island will show that many communities are isolated and far from the main landfill at the Kajik Island, near the airport. Currently, only the municipalities of Colonia Town, Sokes, and Kichi have a set of garbage collection vehicles to run a proper solid waste collection program. Other municipal governments in Nech, U, and Madelanin have small programs that utilize flatbed vehicles or dump trucks to collect trash, some for free and others with a fee. But without a concerted effort to collect and manage solid waste, how can Pompeii hope to grow its image as a tourist destination? This video will explore the management of solid waste that is happening in Pompeii today and talk about the current and future initiatives that are planned to help the residents of Pompeii deal with this growing problem. The people of Pompeii traditionally lived simple lives, eating local food and wearing traditional clothes. In early Pompeii society, everything was biodegradable, and so things were discarded with no thought of harming the environment. Nowadays, life in Pompeii has changed. Back in the olden days, whatever waste that we have, it's a resource to our land. That's when we don't have any other wrappers, we don't have any other containers and everything else. But um, with the introduction of all these wrappers and all these containers and everything, we're struggling to understand what can we do with it. It's no longer a resource to the land, it's the polluted to the land. Today, with all the imported foodstuffs and packaged goods, Discarding waste in the villages is no longer a solution for waste management, but instead a source of pollution to the environment. Laws on littering can be found in the Pompeii State Code of Laws, and municipal governments all have ordinances on illegal dumping. But the lines are not clear on who enforces these laws, and many people around the island have illegal landfill sites on their properties, or are worse, dumping solid waste into the rivers and letting it wash out to the mangroves and onto the reefs. One municipal government, Colonia Town, has been working on solid waste collection for a few years with vehicles donated by the Embassy of Japan. But they are struggling with people not wanting to pay for the service. The way I look at it, you know, I, I see a lot of folks now where they go drink uh, Sakao or whatever night. Five dollars a bottle or ten dollars for the market. Now, maybe you can not spend five dollars a night spend it a month for your garbage. So I, I, I don't see why they can't afford it. But I think they can afford it. It's just a matter of uh, them convincing themselves that we you know, want to clean up our yard and get rid of the trash. Sokas and Kitchi municipalities have newly donated garbage collection vehicles donated by the Japan Embassy to assist in their efforts to clean up solid waste in their municipalities. With the assistance of uh, Japan, which is the assistance of Japan, well, one carpet truck, compacted carpet truck, and one pump truck. And the plan of using prepaid carpet bags. 
we will sell the garbage bags in the retail stores. We will work with the vendors with the stores to provide the bags and sell to them and they sell it to uh, the people at an affordable price. Whoever that will be using our bags one day uh, when our carpet truck will be servicing around the uh, suckers and they see those bags, our bags, they will pick up whenever they see those bags. Most of the work done in Pombe under solid waste management is done by the Waste Management Service Company, who manages the Dukechik landfill and does collection services around the island. Uh, well, first of all, PWMS is a private company that's been operating for uh, approximately the last 15 years. Um, we've been tasked with managing the Dukechik uh, landfill site and um, we've been operating a trash collection service um, primarily for commercial customers but uh, also for residential customers and uh, sometimes even entire villages or neighborhoods. Basically what was happening was uh, simply open dumping at this dump site. Uh, so where I came on board about a year ago and uh, been trying to change that and there's been a lot of uh, really positive synergy with the JICA uh, pilot project for the Fukuyoka uh, method, implementing the Fukuyoka method. But it's, it's a, a big improvement over open dumping. You know, this is here and the trash goes back a little bit and it drops off massively and our site goes all the way back there. It, it includes the mangroves. Um, what we've uh, imagined for our, our master plan is uh, one, reducing some of our costs by dredging our own coral um, off over there. Uh, it would reduce our costs and also it would uh, allow us to build um, a wall protecting uh, out there. Outside of that wall, uh, mangroves would, uh, we would try to, try to re repopulate the mangroves outside of the wall. Work on solid waste management is supported at the FSM level by the Office of Environment and Emergency Services. You know, under the Title 25, we are mandated to coordinate with the states um, and one of the areas that we coordinate with the states is solid waste management. Our regional partners include um, SPREP, uh, which also focuses on environmental. And through that, through uh, SPREP, we, you know, we've been able to assist the, and provide the, the, the states uh, with technical assistance uh, in, in areas of solid waste management. And we've also worked with uh, JICA. And under JICA is a Jade Prison Project. Uh, solid waste management, um, activities have been implemented at this state level. As an island nation itself, Japan has dealt with the issue of sanitation and now is a leader in the region for Pacific Island nations to look to for expertise in dealing with solid waste. From JICA volunteers engaged at EPA and the schools to the J-PRISM program, Japan has provided technical expertise to help Pompei plan for how it handles solid waste management and collection systems. Part of the problem is that the public is not educated on the environmental hazard that poor solid waste management has on the land, rivers, and oceans. Pompei State EPA has an educational unit that goes around the island doing educational outreach activities to assist with this. As the educator for Pompei State EPA, uh, I usually work with the partner agencies and agencies of Pompei State, which is CSP, uh, Island Food, and even ION, and all those partners that deals with the environment. And we go out, we do all these awareness first at the school level, letting all these uh, sixth graders and fifth graders understand the ways to really reduce the amount of trash that being going out into our environment. And later on, we move into the uh, communities. And in regards to the community uh, community visits, uh, we do visit, like put out a certain information that they need to understand. So 
I gave them the mentality that they can understand that those stress just don't go there without them. They're the one who bring it to their homes. They're the one who gonna be returning it back. Even I practice it. Whenever I go shopping, I need to bring my own bag. And whenever I buy only two items, so I ask those cashiers that I don't need any bag. So they don't have to pack it up. That way I'm practicing the say no to plastic. If we all have the same mentality and practice that, we can reduce the amount of trash that we've been bringing into our homes or into our environment. Reuse, reduce, refuse, recycle. For us, we started out with four R's. So we kind of educating the students uh, with the four R system. And with the four R's, the students really can understandable with the four R's system. And there's so, some of them are starting to practice in their school campuses. So I think with the four R system, if we continue more on the four R system at the school level, they can be really successful in those. Recycling is one way that Palm Bay State can help reducing the amount of material that goes into the Tkachuk landfill. Um, I also think that uh, there could be better coordination between the states as far as uh, an actual exit strategy for some of these recyclable materials. I think the more they look into it and, and, and pass laws that would implement uh, a national type of recycling program, I think that would be more efficient. Uh, so that can be the umbrella for, for the states to be to move on their forward with, with their own programs. But I think uh, we need to work with the national government as well and, and, have, and to improve the programs. Uh, I think that's a good idea. We will be looking into that in terms of having one uh, station, it's because the station where they do the recycling. Uh, we want to have one in Sokes, but that's Thing. We don't have a uh, surface where we'll be taking the, the uh, uh, recycles to Colombia. Uh, one uh, entity uh, won't be able to pull this off. It has to be a collaborative effort. Uh, the state, the local governments, private sector. Uh, since we have a small island, with a lot of uh, a lot of important goods, it, 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 it would take a lot of the effort to, to fight this. It's a big challenge, not only for the state, but for 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 other municipal governments as well as as well as for the private sector. But we need to work together, and I've been working with uh, PW on this to see how can they improve uh, their also. Get, get them into recycling. So we're working together on that as well. Finally, with more interest from the private sector, new businesses are filling the gaps in solid waste collection around the island. A new startup business called Trash Kings is helping to add more options for people in Pombe to get rid of their solid waste. As Pombe readies itself for an increase in tourism, systems need to be in place to make sure that we have strong solid waste management procedures and services in place to handle the increase in solid waste that comes with more people living, working, and vacationing in Pompey State. The Tukachuk landfill has a lifespan left for accepting solid waste, and then the state will have to develop a new landfill that will cost millions of dollars to prepare and open. If everyone does their part to reduce, reuse, refuse, and recycle, we can lessen the amount of solid waste created in Bombay and help keep our environment clean for generations to come.